For this type of word problem, we are going to have multiple steps to find the answer. And looking at this one, we're told that there were 45 runners to start a race. In the first half of the race, a third of them dropped out. In the second half of the race, three-fifths of the remaining runners dropped out. And we're asked how many runners finished the race. So starting off here, we're told there are 45 runners to start but one-third of them drop out in the first half. So let's start with that. 45, that's how many we start with, and one-third of those drop out. So I would multiply by one-third, and that would give me how many dropped out in the first half. So I'm just going to note that. This is going to be how many dropped out. So to multiply, we can say the 45 is 45 over 1, and then cross-cancel the 3 and the 45. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 45 15 times. So 15 times 1 is 15 in the bottom, 1 times 1 is 1. So 15 people dropped out in the first half of the race. So that takes care of that part. But then we're told that three-fifths of the remaining runners dropped out. So if we started off with 45, and we've already had 15 drop out, we must now have 30 runners remaining. And of those 30 remaining runners, three-fifths drop out. So I need to find out how many dropped out this time around. Three-fifths of those remaining runners so I can multiply those, and again, this is going to tell me how many dropped out. So multiplying, I would again turn that 30 into 30 over 1. I can cross-cancel here as well. 5 goes into 5 once. 5 goes into 30 6 times. So multiplying the top, 6 times 3 is 18. 1 times 1 is 1. So this time we had 18 drop out. So we started off with 45. In the first half of the race, we lost 15. And in the second half of the race, we lost another 18. So we are now left with 12 runners finishing the race. And we look back and make sure, yes, we were asked how many actually finished the race. So we found the fraction that dropped out in the first half we found the fraction that dropped out in the second half and by subtracting those we now know how many runners were left.